After establishing that constant association between the presence of a pathogen and a disease, the second step is to isolate that organism into pure culture, which means we free it from the presence of all other microorganisms. This is an example of a pure culture of a plant pathogen, and it is the objective of step two of Koch's postulates. We will now take you through the series of steps required to obtain this pure culture. In order to complete step two of Koch's postulates, we'll need our symptomatic apple, 95% ethyl alcohol, matches and an alcohol burner, 10% bleach solution, sterile water, petri plates containing a growth medium, parafilm strips to wrap the plates, forceps, scalpel, sharpie, and paper towels. The purpose of sterilization is to minimize contamination from other microorganisms that might be present. We'll start by sterilizing the surface of the apple by taking a paper towel and dipping it in to 95% alcohol and gently wiping the surface from which we are going to isolate. Next, we're going to sterilize the scalpel that we're going to use to cut out diseased tissue. Dip it into the 95% alcohol, let the excess drip off, then hold it over the flame. The rapid burning of the alcohol helps to kill microorganisms that may be on the surface of the scalpel. It's important to keep the scalpel, now that it's sterilized, from touching other non-sterile surfaces. Using the sterile scalpel, we're now ready to collect symptomatic tissue from the apple. Be sure to collect tissue from an area that contains both diseased and healthy tissue, as the pathogen is most active at this advancing edge of the lesion. Remove several small pieces from the edge of the lesion. Once we have several pieces of tissue, we need to surface sterilize them. This step should kill all organisms except for the pathogen that is growing inside the tissue. The first thing we'll need to do is sterilize the forceps. Dip them into the alcohol, drip off the excess, and then hold it into the flame. Use the sterilized forceps to place the pieces of tissue into 10% bleach solution. They will sit in the bleach solution for 30 seconds. Using the forceps, remove the pieces from the bleach, rinse them in sterile water, and then place them onto sterile growth medium. Use parafilm to wrap the plates so that the medium does not dry out during incubation. It's a good idea to label your plates with the date and sample ID. After a week, this is the growth that we see on our plates. You'll notice that all three of our isolations have grown out and are similar in appearance. The next step is to transfer the organism to a new plate of medium so that we ensure a pure culture. For this next step, we will need a sterile scalpel and a fresh plate of growth medium. Sterilize the scalpel as before. We'll need to isolate 
from the edge of the colony, since that is the area where the pathogen is most actively growing and where the least amount of contamination is likely to be. With the scalpel, make a cut at the edge of the colony and remove a piece that includes both the colony and clean auger. Then transfer that plug over to a new plate. Then parafilm and incubate as before.